going to spend hard here and in today's video we'll be going over a 2021 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition. First and foremost though a huge shout out and thank you to Brent Brown Toyota for giving me some time with this Tundra. Check out their inventory in the link below and if you do plan on reaching out to them and buying them make sure to ask for Pickle Rick and you have to call him Pickle Rick okay guys let's get into the video. So under the hood of the Tundra we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter V8 goes through a six-speed automatic transmission. It's good for 381 horsepower and then 401 pound-feet of torque. And then fuel economy is 13 around town and then 17 on the highway. And well, take one last look because this is the last time you will be able to get a brand new Tundra with a V8. Now going over the front end, first off, I love the brown metallic paint on this. It makes sense with the 1794 edition. You guys will see with the interior, you can see just how beautiful that is. Now notice we've got the full LED lights with the LED accent lights, fog lights down below with the parking sensors integrated. And then we have the Toyota logo that doubles as a sensor. And overall, the front end of the Tundra is massive. It's imposing and it's got cool venting there, which makes it look a little bit more aggressive. But other than that, that's all for the front. Now coming around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then as for the design on the wheels, I think they look really cool and rugged overall, especially how they have like the spokes themselves kind of a little bit larger in size. And then here's a quick look at the tires and then a little look at the front suspension right there. We have our 1794 edition badge right there. We've got the chrome mirrors, chrome door handles, which actually accent this brown paint very nicely. Notice we've got the side steps right there and Notice that we've got this right here for your foot to get a little bit of a better grip. But other than that, here is your full side view of the Tundra. And then let's pop to the rear so we can go over the suspension because, well, this is the last time you can get a Tundra with leaf springs. So again, this generation of Tundra has leaf springs. The new Tundra is going to have coil suspension in the back end. So it's going to be significantly different than this setup and also got a regular gas cap. The new one's probably gonna be capless, I'm guessing, that's just a guess. Um, but also, mud flaps, also pretty nice. And then, guess what? This one has the TRD exhaust added to it, it's right there. And you guys will be able to hear that a little bit later in the video, but let's head to the bed area. So here's our key fob for the Tundra, and we'll just unlock it and pop into the bed area. Now it is a slow release. Payload capacity is 1185 pounds, if you guys are wondering. And then notice we've got the liner here in the bed already. So this one's already protected. Definitely nice. It says Tundra there at the back. And then we've got the regular cargo light there at the top. Um, other than that, though, there's not much else to go over with the bed area. So we're going to lift her up. Pretty light. Now let's finish things up here with the rear. So notice we've got the chrome badging right there. And I love the coloring on the Tundra logo there on the back. Parking sensors along the bumper. Towing capacity is around 10,000 pounds, roughly. And again, I already said it, but I'll say it again. TRD exhaust. And I guess this is the last time we'll see these, you know, super ancient taillights on a Tundra because the new one has crazy new LEDs. But you know what? It is what it is. Now, popping into the back of the 1794 edition, this is what it's all about. So we've got this really nice brown leather with the high gloss wood trim and then you've got padding down below to rest your arm but yeah I overall love the look of that you guys can see regular door handle right here a couple speakers for the sound system we've got our tundra plaque which is really nice looking and then you can see the back seats here we actually have some alcantara right here on that portion of the seat which actually feels really nice and it again creates nice contrast with these seats you can lift them up notice we've got the toyota first aid kit under there and then those are just for the bed and then we have got these special floor mats as well. Look really nice, actually. Got some vents back there and then some seat storage. And then we have the cup holders. Uh, but yeah, overall, like just really nice attention and detail. And so you. Now here's the door panel at the front. So again, really nice leather trim here with the perforated leather and the high gloss wood trim and then the padding down below. All the window controls right here, memory seats, got that for the sound system and again the really nice tundra plaque and then here is the front seat it says 1794 edition on it yeah just really nice material use overall and these seats are very comfortable if you guys are wondering like 
just look how plush the seats are on the bolsters as well. Adjustment there on the side of the seat. And then, see the pedal layout down below. Obviously that's for the parking brake. And then we've got this for the rear window. The mirror adjustments are right here. And then you've got that for like the cargo light. The steering wheel is automatically adjustable. And even right here has some wood trim. And we've got like a little leather patch around the vent right there. But there's one more look before we pop in. So here is our steering wheel in the 1794 edition. Really nice wood trim at the top and at the bottom. And we've got nice leather trim here on the sides. And then notice the cruise control is just kind of hiding there in that portion of the steering wheel. We've got like our lane keep assist, all that fun stuff. Pages button right here, phone controls, voice command controls. And then also we have the turn signal slash light stock, windshield wiper stock on the other side. And that's all for the steering wheel. Now here's the center gauge cluster. Notice that it's, it's pretty much an analog setup. So you've got like the analog RPM, speed, fuel, all that fun stuff. But there's some menus we can scroll through here in the center, which do live on that screen. Uh, so for example, obviously you guys can see low on fuel, but got stuff for like the safety tech, for example, right there, the cruise control audio. And then, well, I've got a compass. You guys can see we are pointing northeast. Um, and then you can see there with the fuel range and then uh, obviously how fast we're going, which is not fast at all. And finally, it's a nice temperature outside, but there's a the gauge cluster. So we've got some storage here at the top with this little mat. And then I love the circular vents here with the Tundra. Now I've got the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. You've got the backup camera right there with the trajectory lines. And then going from that to the rest of the infotainment system, first off, if we press the home screen button, notice, well, it'll stay on the same screen, but you've got the menu, home screen. You can see response time is pretty good with the buttons. And then with the touch screen itself, response time is also solid and does come with navigation, which yeah, responds really nicely. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything for the infotainment system. Got our climate control screen and notice I've got the ventilated seat on, so it gives me that little graphic right there. Dual zone climate here for the Tundra. Got our drive line select, so you've got your two-wheel drive, four-wheel high, and then four-wheel low, and notice that you have to push in for four-wheel low. And then we've got like the charging area, it's the best way to put it, because you've got a bunch of charging ports down here. Parking sensors, stability control, and then we've got a cup holder right here, which is slightly useless because like you can't have a cup that's very tall so i guess for a little coffee that'll work but don't worry we've got more cup holders they have a million cup holders in the tundra as you can see there's another one in the door panel right there shifter for that six-speed automatic notice we have the trd logo on top of that you guys will see that on the window sticker in just a moment and again like i said there's a power sliding rear window all the way down just like with the forerunner you guys know i'm a huge fan of that because well the whole window going down is better than just part of the window going down Center console, really nice, 1794 edition, just nice leather all over, phone holder there on the top. And then, notice this one has the lock box added to it, 12 volt inside of it, and then you've got little thread through for cables and all that fun stuff. But yeah, material use just overall looks absolutely fantastic. And then, got the center console right here, which has a little storage tray on it. And notice again, high gloss wood, and then you've got like the nice leather here on the dash. So all that looks really good. And then wait for it. We've got the top here with the sunroof. You've got the controls for the sunroof, sunglass holder, lighter colored headliner. Let's look at the window sticker. So here's our window sticker for this 1794 edition. You guys can see the standard equipment here with the truck. So if you guys wanna read through all that, feel free to freeze the frame. I love how they have full tank of gas as part of the window sticker, that's awesome. And then we talked about the fuel economy earlier. But here is the options, and this is where the TRD stuff comes in. So you can option a bunch of TRD stuff on the Tundra, which is pretty cool. So notice we've got the performance exhaust, performance air filter, we've got the shift knob, and then the rear sway bar. So it actually changes how the truck drives slightly. And then also the skid plate, pretty cool. And then, yeah, so that badging I liked on the back, $99, but you know what? I think it's money well spent because it looks really nice. Anyways, there's your total MSRP, $59,449 for any type of market adjustment. And, well, let's kind of sum things up for today's video. So first off, on this particular Tundra, I love the spec on it, like the brown with the brown interior. I think it's really cool. And then obviously, all the TRD goodies on this one just makes it even cooler. Now, should you wait for the new Tundra or should you get something like this? And it's really gonna depend. So obviously, Toyota is all about reliability. So I do believe that the new Tundra is going to be a reliable truck. That being said, we already know this truck is extremely reliable. It's tested. It has a very well-tested transmission and engine. And so if you don't want to take any chances whatsoever, right? And then also if you want a V8, right? You can't get a V8 with the new Tundra. It's only going to have a twin turbo V6 
as this engine option then obviously the hybrid as well and so it really just depends on what you're looking for so i guess if you want the you know tested truck that you know for sure is going to be reliable it's going to last you literally decades then this one the new one again i'm sure it's going to be fine but again we haven't been able to test it yet so we'll have to see what happens in due time uh but yeah there's the 1794 edition and I mean, if you're looking for one, this is probably like one of the last new ones for sale in the country. Now let's get some things up for our video on this 2021 Toyota Tundra in the 1794 edition package with all the TRD goodies. But anyways, if you're stopping for the first time, I really appreciate if you subscribe. And also a huge shout out and thank you to Brent Brown Toyota for giving me some time with the Tundra. Check out their inventory link below. Ask for Pickle Rick. I'll see ya.